That's it. Give it, uh, cone it, cone it in more at the top. It needs to be more coned in. That's better. That's better. Hello, folks. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm just doing a Skype at the wheel here with uh, with Mike. He's out in Las Vegas in Nevada, and uh, we're having a Skype a Skype at the wheel pottery session. So um, Mike, give me your honest opinion. How do you think that this Skype at the wheel how do you think it is uh, it's going? I mean, honest, honest opinion. Well, so far, uh, we've already addressed the main issue I was having in making cylinders that were uh, that were as thick at the top as they are at the bottom. So uh, after just one hour, probably fixed one of my biggest problems. So it's going quite well, I think. Okay. Good. Just pop the camera back here on the tripod, folks. Hang on. Because what I want to do is... I'm working alongside Mike, you see. So we're sort of doing this together. Um, yeah, I want you to. I want you to concentrate on that. Uh, make sure as you lift that you don't pinch it in at the base and make it make it narrow at the at the base. You know. I had some, um, I did have some samples and, and fat things that we use like when doing uh, <laughs> workshops of the different stages of throwing, throwing a cylinder and um, Just putting them here, here on the board. Um, it just help. It, it helps sometimes to see these uh, progression. You know, in oh, we lost the connection. Lost the connection again. That happens occasionally. We've just gone offline, folks, for a moment. I've got to see my Verizon about that because they it does that occasionally. Here we are, we're back again. <laughs> yeah, did it. He did it again. You give me your picture. You haven't got. A picture there. No. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, Mike, what I was saying is these 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 guys here. You see, now you may have seen these. Uh, I may have referred to them in the past, but um, the progression of shapes. But just one thing to note is, and that is that this one, which is, you see. There's a there's a cylinder. You see that. Right. Good. I like your finger posture. That's 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 quite good. And I like the way that you're touching your your thumb to the other hand. That's actually a, a good, important thing to do. It's, it's the collaboration between your two hands, you see, not two individual hands, but 
hands working together, touching as you lift. Yeah, it gets that, much more steady. It, it gives a much more, yeah, uniform, consistent lift. Are we in the picture folks? Yeah, we're still in the picture. How about that? That's good news. So, yeah. You know, the thing is, if you can, if you can master the cylinder, um, I mean really master it, and you're not going to master a cylinder in in half in half a dozen attempts, you know. You really need to have 20, 30, 40, 50 attempts at doing cylinders and just focus on doing cylinders and getting them right. And that's the, probably the biggest favor you'll do yourself. And you you will improve enormously. Just by focusing on doing that one thing, it opens the door to doing a whole load of other things. Okay, when you use your when you use this when you use this stick, if you're cleaning off the slurry off the side. You hold it slightly at an angle, you right. see, as you, as you touch it to the side of the pot. Don't hold it vertical to the pot. Incline it slightly, like you're doing, that's it. And then bring it on up, you know. Well, that one looks better. I can still detect it's narrow at the foot. Yeah. But it's the same height as the last one, but it's wider. Right. Okay. You'll find that as you as you progress your your gain in height. And get yourself a mirror as well, because that will help you to um, that will help you to see a little bit more clearly the the outside profile of your of your piece. So I'm reckoning that we should be getting somewhere around, aim to be getting around five inches. Okay. Let's move the camera folks there a little bit because I think my head might be in the way. Yeah, aim as a rough guide for something like 5 inches with 12 ounces of clay. And and try and get them try and get them dead straight, okay? And be mean with yourself about it. Don't you know? Don't 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 accept anything that isn't you know. 
Be very self-critical at this stage, it's, it's important. Now if you need to do a recap on this Mike, I've got plenty of videos out there on YouTube where I am talking about all these things. Yeah. So this is your homework. Just just get the get these cylinders squared away and then you'll be able to, you'll find it'll help, I don't know, it'll help all other aspects of your throwing. Well, Let's have another look, one final look at Mike, see how he's getting on there. You know about watering, Mike, when you put water, when you give water to your pot, your first and second fin fingers over the lip of the pot and then apply water just at the top of the, those fingers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I speak about that quite a lot usually, but you actually want to make sure that when you give water to your pot that you... and then you go to work the pot, that you've, you've, the water is evenly covering all of the pot, you know. Now that, now that pot you've got there, I would do like six points of contact on that. you know what I mean by that? Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's it, exactly that. Now start lower down. Start lower down there and, and gently just come up to the top. Just constricting it a little bit as you go and it'll narrow it at the top touch. Bring it in. Yeah, you see how what you've done? You've 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 narrowed it. You've corrected the form, the wideness at the top, and you've you've made oh, okay. it. So if you have a situation where, you see, you can either widen it at the base or you can na narrow it at the top to get it straight, I mean. Right. Hey, I'm, go we're gonna so I'm gonna sign off on this uh, uh, video. Uh, you just carry on there. Well, Hey folks, thanks for joining us. That's Mike over there in Las Vegas. We're just having a little Skype at the wheel. And um, you might find that something that interests you. You know, on these wintry days, it's blowing out there and snow here in Pennsylvania. But Mike is over there, 60 degrees in Las Vegas, and uh, he's relatively warm compared to us here. But that doesn't matter, does it? It, 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 uh, with Skype, we can make it work. So, if that's something that interests you, go to my website, simonleachpottery.com, and you can see there the details about that and how to go about that. Okay, folks, well, that's all for now. All that remains to be said is, Mike, you will join me in this in saying... Keep practicing. That's it. I got him trained. Keep practicing, everybody. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.